You took your time, you bastard. That Poundland bin is turning into a right arrogant little fuck. Hi everyone, I'm Big Polly back for a brand new episode of What's in the Poundland Bin. Yes, it's been an eternity since we've done a last episode. So I have no idea. I can't, I can't remember what's in the bin. I have no idea. There could be anything in the bin. There could be mice. There could be banana skins, chocolate wrappers. Who knows? There's only one way to find out and I'm not having a fight. Okie dokie. Let's do it. What's in the Poundland bin? The don't get mouthy with me. Otherwise, I'll just kick you to one side and do what flick will poorly pick instead. <laughs> oh, don't cry. <laughs> Are we ready, folks? Here we go for the first Poundland bin of 22. 2022. That's it, yes. <laughs> oh, blimey, it's all a jungle jumbled inside there. Okie dokie, here we go. Ah, da, 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 da. Shall I have that one? Hang on a minute. No, let's not have that one. Let's have that one. Shall we have that one? Let's have that one. Oh God. Oh, it's wrapped. <gasps> okay, so we have something wrapped. What can it be? Upside down or not? Yes, upside down. Don't know. Trying to look at the pictures on the back. All I can see is Oh shit, it's a little girl with a hand on a television screen. Why is that familiar? Yeah, I thought so. Oh, okay. Oh! Poltergeist extended car. This is the remake? Yes, this is the remake. I've never seen the remake. Oh wow, from legendary filmmaker Sam Raimi. Uh, Sam Rockwell. Okay, well, I, the first two Poltergeist films are fantastic. The first one is brilliant. Uh, and I've never seen the remake. Okie dokie. That's a good start to 2022. Okay, so we've got the wrapping off. There we go. Oh. Oh, oh hello. Digital code. Knock yourself out if it works. Oh, nice artwork. Yes, look at that. That's a very familiar image. Oh. Get the disc out. Oh, nice and clean. Okie dokie. Open we go. In the old play you go. La la la. La 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 la. Yeah, I think we're still on this book. We've got another load of books to go, but let's... Do you remember, look? Do you remember I folded the page so that I would know where I am? Good boy. Right, okay, so be more Yoda. Let's turn to the page that's folded. Oh, there we go. Now the question is, is it the page before or the page after? Okay, so we are on a new page. Fantastic. And we have a picture of Luke floating on a rock. No one's ever really gone. That is true. All right. Embrace your feelings in tough times. Christ, we've had enough of those, haven't we, the last couple of years? We all face tragedy in life. You may have lost a loved one, experienced the end of a relationship, or witnessed your Padawan burning down your temple. <laughs> If a Jedi Master and his sister can reflect on what they've lost while the First Order lays siege to their sanctuary, you too can give yourself time to mourn. And by facing your grief, you can begin to move beyond it. The light at the end of the tunnel, dark tunnel 
might just be the Millennium Falcon coming to rescue you. Ah, oh, that's sweet, isn't it? Let's have a look, see if it's out the window. No, I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go embracing your feelings in tough times yes fantastic right better fold the page and i fold the page all right everybody remember it's yoda next time there we go right fantastic okay so disc is in disc is spinning let's settle down and watch poltergeist the extended cut the remake of Poltergeist, which I have never seen. So this should, hopefully should be very interesting. Not too scary. <laughs> right, let's do it. Two hours later. Okay, so Poltergeist, the extended cut. This follows the same formula. Family on the road, go to a new house. Uh, before you know it, things start happening. There's a big tree. There's three kids, uh, an elder daughter who's kind of like the rebellious, always on her phone. Uh, typical teenager, you get the middle boy who's into his comics and everything. And you get the little girl who's like Carrie Ann. Uh, the boy uh, gets the loft with the glass roof, which you can see the tree. Uh, so you know what's going to happen there. Um, a lot of the, the, the cast really don't do much for the film. Uh, I think probably the two standouts for me were the little girl. She's certainly no Carrie Anne, but um, she was quite good. And also Jared Harris, who's kind of like a paranormal investigator who's brought in at the last minute to exercise this house. It's pretty much like The Lion King, you know, it's kind of some of it is scene for scene. You've got teddy bears rolling across the floor. You've got the tree that comes in through the house, takes the kid out of the house. Uh, you've got the TV. They're here, although the little girl's delivery wasn't quite up to par. It's just turn to the camera and say, they're here. Yeah, it didn't have any impact. Uh, the mum was OK. Nothing really exciting about this family. They didn't. They didn't make you root for them, that you that they wanted to be saved. And Sam Rockwell didn't really do anything at all. As the father, he was just... He could have been replaced by any other actor. Now, Sam Rockwell is a bloody good actor. But it's just... There wasn't anything for him to do. And he just kind of like... He's a side character. Which, you know, after... Um, what's his name? Craig T. Nelson, wasn't it, I think, in the first film. Uh, he was fantastic as the father in the first film. The whole family in the original film, you cared about every single one of them. Uh, but then again, it was you know, a Spielberg film. Um, but uh, yeah, you can see the scene up the top there. There wasn't much impact. The thing that this had going for it towards the end in the last 20 to 25 minutes was the special effects. When, when the little girl got pulled through the TV and, and she was lost in this kind of like netherworld between the dead and the living uh, eerie co kind of eerie corridors and dead bodies reaching out their hands trying to grab them to pull them towards the light type of thing so that was that was really well done <coughs> that did look actually quite scary and eerie of course the first film they built the house on a you know an old ancient burial ground uh, not much different in this film. They just built it on a on a cemetery, a regular cemetery, and they just you know removed the headstones. Um, but yeah, it wasn't as exciting as the first film, and it was just plodding along until you got to like thirty minutes before the end of the film. So pretty much an hour of the film was just these characters, the family, little things that happen in like disappearing in the cupboard 
clowns heads turning around um yeah really it didn't scare me it it didn't scare me the first film even when i was young the first film scared the shit out of me and the special effects on this hold up today the acting holds up today and this character here creepy as fuck <laughs> so yeah um the, the little girl tried to be her tried to be a carry hand but didn't didn't pull it off so uh yeah this this is this is the true poltergeist the first film uh the second film is good uh i haven't seen the third film for a long time so maybe i'll do maybe a uh, poltergeist uh rewatch at some point but this is okay I can see why it was in Poundland. For me, to be perfectly honest, it's a one-time watch. I'd much rather watch the original Poltergeist. But uh, it was a good go. But as I say, it's kind of like The Lion King. It's kind of a shot-for-shot, scene-for-scene type of thing. But uh, yeah, it's not a bad effort, I suppose. Uh, see, a seriously scary watch. For me, it wasn't a seriously scary watch, so I don't know who they were who they were showing this to. Probably a group of two year olds or something. Anyway, that is my little review of Poltergeist Extended Cut. How am I going to rate it on a scale of one to ten? Um, I'm going to give it five out of ten. As I say, the special effects were good. Um, the audio was brilliant. Some some of the acting was okay, but it was just a run of the mill, unnecessary remake. Yeah, there you go. As I said, this is pretty much a one time watch for me, so it will go in the recycling bin. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of What's in the Poundland Bin. We will do it again soon, absolutely. And uh, if you want to watch some Poltergeist. Watch the original. It's classic. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Till the next one. Bye.